Coming up on Around Kern County, are you looking to turn the page on your dream career? We're sharing how the Sheriff's Office and Library are working together to help you enter your next chapter. And if you're looking to add a member to your family just in time for the holiday seasons, look no further than Kern County Animal Services. We're walking you through the adoption process when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. The Sheriff's Office is partnering with our Kern County Library to help you turn the page on your dream career. They're hosting a series of recruitment events across our county held in each community's local library branch. KCSO is hiring for deputies and deputy trainees, as well as detentions deputies and trainees. So mark your calendars. KCSO will be at the Arvin Branch Library on Tuesday, September 26th, Lamont Branch Library Thursday, September 28th, Ridgecrest Branch Library Tuesday, October 3rd, McFarland Branch Library Tuesday, October 10th, Button Willow Branch Library Tuesday, October 24th, Fraser Park Branch Library Tuesday, November 7th, and the Beale Memorial Library on Tuesday, November 14th. For times and more information about these events, please call KCSO's hiring managers at 661-391-7750 or visit kcsojobs.org. And it's National Library Card Month. In honor of this fun campaign, the library has launched 14 new card designs, including four that are limited edition. From borrowing books, ebooks, audiobooks, to getting homework help, learning new skills, attending programs or story time, a library card helps everyone do more of what they enjoy. The new library card designs are available now at all 22 branch locations. And existing card holders can swap out their current cards for the new designs at any time. For more information, please visit kerncountylibrary.org. This time of year is all about family, and if you're looking to grow yours by four paws, this story is for you. Our Kern County Animal Services has dogs and cats ready to be adopted and find a special place into your heart and home. If you're a little intimidated by this process, don't worry, it's easy. This is how it works. You can head into the animal shelter and walk through all of the kennels until you spot your forever friend. Then snap a pic of the animal's kennel number and come up to the reception area and grab your own number. When it's called, you can ask for a meet and greet. And if it's a good match, you can go home that day with your very best friend. You're gonna walk through the kennels. You don't need to be granted access. You don't need to have an appointment. Uh, it's open admission. If you see something that you think might match your lifestyle, come up and speak to the staff and ask some more questions. We'll be able to tell you if they're available. And if they are not, when they might be available. If they're available for foster or adoption, we might be able to tell you some behavioral notes on them, whether they get along with other dogs or do not get along with other dogs. Um, so asking questions is probably the most important thing, but otherwise it's an open process and you can walk through our kennels whenever you want and select any dog and ask any questions about them. And if it's a good fit, uh, most of the time, um, you're going to pay the adoption fee, which is usually a nominal fee. And most of the time, you're going to walk out of the shelter with that dog or that cat. So uh, when you're ready and you've made that informed decision that you're going to invite a new animal into your life, uh, which we guarantee will complete your life, the best place to do it is Kern County Animal Services. Any of our Kern County Animal Shelters, come down. Uh, we have so many loving animals that uh, need adoption, uh, need foster, need your support. Uh, we're at 3951 Fruitvale Avenue. We're on Fruitvale just north of Rosedale Highway. We're open 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Wednesdays we stay open late from 2 to 7. Um, we have so many animals that need adoption. Come out and check us out. Now, if you don't have time to head down to the shelter, you can look online to see what animals are available. To check them out or learn more about the adoption process, please visit kerncountyanimalservices.org.
Our workforce is taking advantage of the change in seasons to educate our residents about their services. Anna Marie Odo has the story. Fall is in the air and the Kern County Fair is back in action. Our county departments have set up shop to meet with fair goers and connect them to their resources. From aging and adult services to public works to the Department of Human Services, our staff is making sure our community can count on Kern County. So we hope that people, you know, they're, they're here in the community and they come by our booth and they look at us as a, a community member who wants to provide services to them and thinks of us when they do need help. So we also offer Medi-Cal help with um, health insurance, help with um, getting a job. We have so many things we can do for the community. And so that's our main purpose. Just we're part of the community and we want them to connect with us. To learn more about all of our county departments, just visit our website, kerncounty.com. If you can believe it, fall is officially here in Kern County. From the leaves starting to turn color to cooler temperatures finally settling in, Kern County is experiencing a change in seasons, with Saturday, September 23rd, kicking off the first official day of autumn. Whether you're heading out to the pumpkin patch with family, riding your bike on our local trails, or finally putting out your fall decorations, we want to wish you a happy and healthy season. And we'll be sure to keep you updated with what our county departments are doing throughout the next few months right here and on social media. Be sure to give us a follow by searching Kern County to stay up to date. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.